Good morning, everybody. This is Al again, uh, broadcasting here from Texas. What you're looking at here is a solar water heater that I installed. Uh, it has six collector panels with copper tubing inside, and then the uh, the glazing that you see is the same glazing that it's on the uh, it's polycarbonate double walled, and uh, it's the same glazing that you'll find on the uh, Harbor Freight uh, type uh, greenhouses. Very tough stuff. There's six of these panels. I found them from a company called Heliotos. And I'll put a link under the, uh, the video so you can check them out. Uh, very responsive people. They advertise at Heliotos.com as well as they sell it on eBay. Uh, I went to their website and ordered it directly from them and uh, it's really good stuff uh, I got a 50 gallon water heater electric water heater so this was just a no-brainer before I tackled any other projects I figured out the winter's coming this would be a good project to undertake to get on the roof so I ended up getting six of these panels here and you they're modular you can just stack them one on top of the other they're two feet by two feet and they connect very easily just using a uh, PEX uh, line and I'll show you one right here, as you can see. Uh, this is the cold water return right here. And then the hot water goes out the top there. Goes through a little U-shaped over there. And it goes back up. And as you can see, everything just goes right through the attic. Through a uh, watertight um, uh, seal that I put up there. And it uses a... Um, solar water pump that is very low voltage very low amperage draw and it circulates the water through here so the beauty of the system is that that little Harbor Freight solar panel I put up there is powering that pump right now so at night when it's cold or in the late afternoon when it's cooling off if you don't have any sunlight then the pump won't work and therefore it won't cool off your water in the water heater so it's perfect it stops when it should when it should and then it begins when there's sunlight uh, capable of heating the water in the panels. Each one of these panels holds uh, 2.7 ounces of water inside the the tubing. So it recirculates through that, gets very hot, goes through there, and then obviously you want to go ahead and insulate everything as much as possible so you don't have any heat loss. The shorter the, the run of the cables or the, the pipes, um, the PEX line, uh, so the water, the, the shorter the water run is, uh, from the water lines, the less heat loss that you'll encounter. Um, I just happen to have, you know, oh, just loads of roof surface, so I can do, I can get crazy here if I wanted to. Um, I'm going to monitor this, and if I need more heat, then I'll add, you know, more panels. This way, I can add probably three more panels coming this way, and if I need to, I, you know, can extend out that way. So that's kind of what it looks like on the outside. Let me show you what it looks like on the inside. This is a great system because I have not found a solar water heater on the internet that you could reuse your existing water heater or that it was inexpensive. This kit here ran about $700 uh, altogether. And I mean, it includes all the water lines, the PEX line, all the connectors, the fittings. Um, the only thing that it doesn't include is the insulation that you see up there. Uh, and the boot that I, the boot that I bought from Lowe's to, you know, go through the, uh, through the ceiling there. Uh, they're normally about $800, but because I already had Harbor Freight panels, uh, I just contacted them and they are very easy to work with. They created a custom order, uh, uh, on their website for me to go to and I saved a hundred dollars I think a hundred or a hundred and ten dollars uh, from using their own uh, solar panel so that was a great thing uh, to be able to save a little bit of money so instead of paying eight hundred dollars I paid seven hundred dollars now forget them forgive the mess but uh, just got through installing this and let me show you what the guy looks like I got the washer out and so here's a water heater uh, it's just a standard electrical water heater and what happens is 
I brought the lines from the top with the wires from the solar panel, tied them to the wall, put them down and across the floor, and then back here. And as you can see, what you have to do is remove the um, the water drain from the existing water heater, and they provide you with this little nifty valve. Uh, or that nifty, uh, nifty connector, you have two water valves you can turn off if you want to, and that's their water pump. I'm going to try to be real quiet. I'm going to close the door and let you listen to it. Right now it's working off just off the solar panels only. So I hope you could hear that. Uh, that's the, uh, the extent of it. It's extremely easy to do. Uh, simply take that water drain, put their fitting in place, replace the water drain back in there, uh, put it all together, you know, go ahead and uh, insulate everything properly and, uh, <laughs> you know, that thing just circulates the hot water when there's sun, shi sun shining out there and, uh, you know, works, works as advertised. It's, it's pretty neat. I uh, really like it and highly recommend it for anybody that, especially if you have a water heater that you're replacing, um, you know, you need to get a new one because your old one is bad, or you're thinking about getting one that is uh, spending the money on, you know, uh, an instant uh, water heater, um, you know, one of those tankless ones. I, I think for the money, if you live in a southern location, this is probably the best bank for your bucket because you can reuse what you have. It takes very minimal work. It took me two days uh, to get this done. Uh, it's not hard at all. They have uh, all kinds of help on their website. And actually, you can connect that system if you don't want to take the drain valve off. Uh, or you have a plastic one, which will probably break if you try to get it out. You can connect it right up here. Just put a little low flow check valve on there. A little U on that uh, hot water line. And... Uh, yeah, that, that's all she takes. Uh, very easy to do. Uh, very simple. Uh, just highly recommend it. Heliotos.com, uh, the guy to talk to over there is, uh, I think his name is uh, Aiko. Uh, anyways, he's a really, uh, really good guy to talk to. Very, very knowledgeable. And uh, they will, they'll really work with you very well. Uh, I don't get paid anything by them as they're not. I don't have anything to do with that company. But I just thought it was worth showing you because I've never seen a solar water heater conversion like this. This is truly unique and uh, really well worth the, uh, the money and expense. It's uh, very inexpensive and uh, it doesn't take any extra room on the roof or anything like that. So anyways, I uh, hope everybody uh, likes it. hope everybody had a great Christmas. God bless everybody. Uh, remember to be thankful to the Lord daily uh, and, and at, every, at any minute of the day. Give, him, give the Lord thanks for everything you have, for your every breath you take, for your health, for your family, for your prosperity, um, for anything that uh, perhaps is uh, bothering you today. Give Him thanks because all those things strength, strengthen us and makes us grow closer to Him. Um, Give him thanks minute by minute and pray to him for the littlest thing, even if, if it's just, you know, praying for a good parking spot at the, uh, at the mall. Seek the Lord in everything you do. Ask him for everything and he will provide and it will make your relationship stronger. Talking to God is just as easy as talking to this YouTube video camera when I'm making a video. It's no different. I thank the Lord every day for it everything that he gives me. Thank you Lord for allowing me to complete this project, for be able, being able to show this project to people. Uh, pray to you Lord that this will help somebody that needs it, that will help some people save money in these tough times, and that will uh, make somebody uh, learn more, uh, be more productive, and help them in their life. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Bye everybody.